Hey y'all, this your girl Kitty Kim and welcome to the Kitty Kim Vlog. I hope y'all having a wonderful weekend. So today, as you can see, we'll be doing another reaction of Nephew Tell Me Prank Calls. Um, I found some new ones that I haven't heard before, so I hope you guys enjoy this reaction. I know some of you probably might have heard it before and everything like that, but other than that, child, we're going to enjoy this video, and I hope y'all are having a wonderful weekend. So before we get started, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and let us get right into this. Okay. Hello? Uh, I'm trying to reach, uh, Mr. Mr. Yeah, this is Mr. Uh, Mr. How you doing? Um, uh, doing fine. My name. I'm calling you. I live down the street from you. I'm about eight, eight, nine houses down the way. Okay. You, you, you are the one that fixed the cars, don't you, down there? That's correct, sir. I've, I fixed the cars. Well, I've been fixing cars lately, sir, because I've been, um, laid off work. So I'm just trying to, you know, make an earnest living, trying to support the family right about now. Oh, oh, okay. I see... What I was calling for now, man, now last week, mm -hmm. I don't know if one of you guys or somebody worked for you, somebody came and, man, parked on my grass at my house. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh -huh. and, I, and, and, and I mean, I got a little bit of oil on my sidewalk, and, and I don't, you know. Well, look, uh, I'm about to send, well, look, I'm about to come out there and clean that up, man, because, uh, like I say, this is how I make a honest living, and I'm trying to keep all my neighborhoods and then all my neighbors you know, happy or whatever while I'm working on these cars because, you know, majority of my neighbors know. Now, I, I, I guess you didn't know. That's why you give me the phone call now. But uh, I don't have no complaints on no other neighbors because I fix their cars all the time. But um, if it was something left in the yard, I mean, you know, I come up there myself and clean it up, sir. Sorry about that. And that won't happen again. Oh, oh okay. Well, now, now, last week I got somebody that came and took the little emblem off, off my Mercedes Benz, you know. Okay. And, and I don't... I, I'm not saying it's one of your people, but it's just so much activity down there. That is Man, too. well, you know, they did the same thing to an old Pontiac I was working on, and I, I didn't know what it was. I think it's the youngins in the, the neighborhood stealing cars or something. But I, um, I'm pretty sure they didn't come from me down here because I don't steal emblems, sir. If anything, I'll put them back on the cars. Oh, okay, well, let, let me ask you this here, man. How, how long are you going to have these cars on the street, you know? Uh... Well, I try to get them, I try to do same-day service. So I try to get them in in the morning, get them out by the afternoon. I try to do that. But if um if that's not possible, uh, I say about four days up to a week, the longest that they'll be on the street. Okay, but now it's a Volkswagen two doors down from you. It's been sitting there in front of them people's house might near two months now. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm in the process of putting a brand new engine in now, but I'm sorry about that. But I try to park it, you know, out of the way of everybody. But I'm, you know, that's a special project right there. That's oh, oh, a special okay. project. I gotta now, get finished. I'm not really trying to raise no whole lot of trouble, man. But now, right. I, what pro one, one of the biggest problems I'm having when I got folks come visit me, you know, they ain't got uh -huh. nowhere to park. They can't park on the street. You got the street taken up with all your cars. You know, I I, I can't have people coming over here. And when they pass through there, it's a car everywhere. Ain't nowhere to park for nobody when people got visitors coming to their house. Man, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Let me, look, I'm going to tell you what you could do, boss. I can give you my number in like a week ahead of time before you have company. Let me know and I can move some of the cars off the way. There's no problem. I can do that for you, boss. Why in the hell do I have to call you and get you a uh, uh, notice on when I'm going to have some because I'm company? That's my business when I'm going to have company. I thought you understand I'm trying to raise my family, put food on the table. I, I understand. Said then you need to get you a shop, man. You need to get a mechanic shop so people can, well, you got a yard and stuff you can park these damn cars in. Well, man, that's what I'm trying to do, man. Hey, look, I'll fix your car for free anytime it breaks down. I'm trying My car to, I'm, ain't broke down, and when it breaks down, I take it to the dealership and get it fixed at the damn dealership. I don't need the cat down there and have it sitting in front of somebody's house for two, three. Let me explain something to you, Mr. Here's right. what I, didn't, I didn't, uh, decided that I'm going to do. Now, what I'm going to call the Homeowners Association and see how they want to handle this here. But other than that, I have really got a good notion to call a tow truck and come down there and just tow some of these damn cars out the way. That ain't going to be possible, boss. Ain't no tow truck coming down here towing. Oh, I just told you. I'm going to have this off the street, man. I can't have no tow truck coming out here towing my cars, dog. I got a pit bull in the front. I got a pit bull in the back. And the I ain't eating like three days, boss. Don't have no tow truck come down here. You feel what I'm saying? They can't come down here towing my man. They get them cars off the damn street then. You get them off the street. I'm, I'm down to 
sweating, man. Come on, man, don't do that to me, man. Problem with that, no problem. I'm trying to make a living, baby. I don't need no hookup, man. I need you to move your damn cars. You're making the neighborhood look bad. Boss, I'm calling the homeowners association, and I'm getting them to move them cars if you don't move them. I'm gonna have a tow truck out there this evening. This some bull. Hey, look. What I just tell you, dog? Look, I'm trying to look. Let me finish doing these full ass cars, and then I come eight houses down, man. You can talk. Now, if I see a tow truck come down here, I'm gonna come eight houses down. And I'm knocking on your back door. Let's work it out. I don't care what you knock on, man. You better move them down. You got till six o'clock this evening, man. 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 I'm telling you, man. I have it go within three days, man. You got me cussing and everything. I got a customer here, man. I don't give a about your customer. I give a about them damn cars that you got on the street. If you have all eight houses now, park your in your yard. You're going to make me walk down there and tell you face to face on how this finna go. That's what you're going to make me do. Hey, boy, I'm going to see your eight houses up. I'm on my way down that man. Which, 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 which house you live in, man? The left, the left side of me or the right side of me, eight houses now. I'm in the be walking down in there with my dogs, man. What's up? Hey, man, you ain't... I'll come out there right now. You ain't got to come to my house. What the Come on, I'm walking. I don't see you. What's out in the street? What the wrong with these two big dogs? What's up? I'm on my way out there to see you and your dogs. But before I come out there, I got one more thing I want to say to you. Is you listening to me, Ray? For... Man, what the you got to say, man? I'm trying to fix the cars. What? Is you listening? I'm listening. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your boy. This who? <laughs> hey, hey, this Nephew Tommy, man, from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, baby. Oh, that's a <laughs> man. Oh, come on, man. You had me scared as a man. I told the lady just pulled up. I got to change this a lot, man. <laughs> man, that's, man, that's some that's man. I'm gonna get that, baby. I'm gonna get his. I swear. <laughs> hey, man, I got one more thing I need to ask you, partner. Let me ask you one more thing. What is, what is the baddest radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show with that crazy. Yes, you Tommy. <laughs> hey, if my car ever break down, I'm bringing it to you. Come on, baby. Look, the first one free, the second one I'm charge you for, baby. All right, look at it. Can you fix a Maserati if it break down on me? Man, I can fix a Maserati. I can fix a Amtrak train. I can fix a crane. Whatever you bring, you can fix my driveway. I can do it, baby. <laughs>
Carrie, how may I help you? My name is Frederick Stammer. Did that Tamara Let me see if she's in the office. One moment, please. Thank you. It just don't, it don't make sense. Hello? Listen, my name is Frederick Stemmons. Okay. Now, my sister's sister is buried out there. Okay. And we come out there last week on Monday to come out there and pray over the the, uh, the space where she is. Now, you is the one that told us that it was a few spaces away from the mausoleum. Now, we got out there and prayed over my sister Frances' bearer and found out that we was in the wrong space. And they say you was the one that told it to us. Uh, I don't even know what you're talking about. But you was the one that told us that my sister... Fr- I don't give out spaces. I'm in the administrative office. I don't know where you work. All I know is you was the one that told us this. No, I did. Yes, you did. You was the one that my grandbaby said that she talked to the woman named Tamara. And you had us out there standing over some white man's body and it wasn't so right. I'm not a counselor, so I can't tell you where a space is. So... Your granddaughter lied to you. Ain't nobody lied to me. Not you had us out there in the wrong space. I couldn't have had you in the wrong space because I don't even know the cemetery. You know what? I'm going to send my grandbaby up there to talk to you. Okay. I'll be here till 5. You're very mischievous. You know that? I'll be here till 5 o'clock. You, you have a good day. No, you don't you hang up this phone on me. You have a good day. No, I'm not going to have a good day. You had me praying over my sister Francis' body and it was the wrong one. And we're sitting there praying over this white man's body. Get out of bed and get out. It wasn't right. Hello? I'm listening to you. You don't have an apology or nothing. Because I know I didn't tell your granddaughter where a space was. Then what did you tell her? I don't even know who your granddaughter is. What you mean? You, the Simmons family. We were not there. I don't much. know who the Simmons family is. It's sir. not Simmons. It's Simmons. Simmons. I don't know a Simmons family. That's what I'm telling you. I'm not a counselor. I don't even deal with family. Here's what I need you to do. Can you go out there and pray over my sister body? I don't know where your sister is buried. It's supposed to have been six spaces away from the mausoleum. I don't... Are there any spaces? Yeah. Where is it? Where is it at? Section 2. Section 2? We was in Section 2, but it was some white man. We was... That, that, it, it wasn't my sister Francis. Okay, I don't even know who your sister Francis is. I do not even know where Section 2 is. Well, whoever came into the cemetery and said that they spoke to me, they probably did speak to me, and I probably got the information from a counselor, but I never showed them exactly where the spot was. So if they were out there praying over your sister and they were in the wrong spot, that's not my problem. They're praying over some white man. That's it, not my problem, sir. If you gave the wrong, went to the wrong spot. If you gave the wrong information, it is just by let me explain I didn't, to you. I don't give the wrong information. Tamara, I told them yes, she's in section two. But me, I did not physically go out there and point to the spot to tell them to pray over that spot. Let me explain what I'm trying to to, to stop from happening. If my people come up there, it's gonna be some more bodies getting buried. And I don't want nobody to get okay, hurt. Okay, I mean your family can come up here. It's not going to be no more bodies being buried. What they can do is come up here, right, and we can conversate about this. But it's not going to be an up war up here. I want you to go out there and you pray over Francis's body. I'm not going out to pray over nobody's body. You it's ain't not, got, it's not you my ain't, family member. I didn't tell them the wrong information. Do they you came love in the here Lord? And do you love the Lord? I dearly do. Then you ought to have some sympathy. I want you to bow your head right now. No, I'm going to um, end this conversation because I have other work to do. Now, if they want to come in and talk to me, I will be here until 5 o'clock. Can I say one more thing before you go? You can say one more thing and I'm ending the call. Okay. This nephew, Tommy, from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, you just got pranked, baby. (laughs) (laughs) You are crazy, okay? Your sister Tamika set you up, baby. And you just got it, baby, from nephew Tommy. <laughs> Boy, you were standing your ground. You like, oh, no, just because you went and prayed over the wrong body, that don't mean nothing. I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> All right. Uh oh. Mm-mm. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> oh, man. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach Tim. Tim, is ready? 
I'm here. How you doing, man? My name is Reginald. I'm actually calling from the uh, daycare where your, where your son, uh, little, little Timmy, goes. Uh, is, is everything okay? We're cool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there's, 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 there's nothing wrong with him. Uh, everything's good with him. He's good. He's safe and everything. How you doing today? I'm doing all right. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. You know, hey, what's going on? Okay, I'm, I'm good, man. We got a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a conduct issue. What are you doing? Hitting on other kids? What are you doing? Fighting? No, no, no. Well, you know, he, he's, he's not fighting. He gets along. He, he's four years old, right? He, he seems to get along with all the other um, four, five, six year olders. He, he, he's pretty good with that. Well, okay. Well, I mean, what's going to be the problem then? Let, 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 me, let me ask you something. Have you noticed any? Um, any irregularities at, at home? Is there anything different about uh, about little Timmy? No, no, not at all. No, I'm not, not, no. Okay, we got some, uh, well, ir irregularities. Uh, uh, I just call it conduct issues. Uh, and it's not necessarily a conduct issue. So this is not anything that he's hurting or, or getting into it with any of the other kids. But I, I was going to call your wife at first, but I wanted to call you. Uh, I thought this would be a great man-to-man uh, -man conversation, okay? What are you trying to get at, man? I'm, I'm at work. I'm trying to... What, what, what is it? It's not a conduct bar. He ain't hitting on nobody. What is it? Well, he, he, he's doing some things that I thought that you as a father would probably want to know about. Now, you know, we take a nap every day at 1 o'clock here at the uh, at the daycare. Mm-hmm. You know, the kids go to the... To the, to the closet to get their blankets well he's he's actually uh, uh -huh. your son is rushing to the closet to make sure he gets the pink blanket and he doesn't want the blue or the red blanket that all the other boys are fighting over your son wants the pink blanket four years old what do you mean it's a pink blanket right but let me let me let me continue a little further i that's not the only thing that has been taking place now at three o'clock in the evening the, the the young boys go out and they play ball in the back you know we have a complete playground for them uh, for the girls they the girls stay inside and we have an instructor that comes over and teaches them ballet but your son well your, your son wants to stay inside and and he wants to do the ballet he, he's actually he, he's actually taking some of the shoes the ballet shoes from one of the girls and he, he's been wearing them for the last three weeks every day through uh, uh while while he's here at the daycare he wears the ballet shoes so, 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 so what the hell are you trying to tell me? My, my son, what, what, what are you saying? He wearing ballet shoes? Sir, that, that, that's, what, that's, why, that's why I wanted to call you, man, and talk to you. And, you know, I didn't want to talk to your wife. I wanted to talk to you. He's been putting on some ballet shoes, and he don't want to go out and play with the boys. He, he, he wearing the ballet shoes, man. And he, he here when the ballet instructor comes. Well, don't be doing all that stuff around here. So I don't even know what you're trying to get. I'm trying to figure out why he's putting on the ballet shoes and y'all letting him put on the ballet shoes. Well, I, I've let it go on a couple weeks. He's been, he, 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 every time I've tried to take the ballet shoes from him, he started crying, and I let it go for so long, and I said, you know what, I'm just going to call the father and talk to him. I'm glad you did. What do what, 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 what we need to do? Well, he's doing one more thing that kind of grabs me by surprise. He's snapping his fingers at the other boys in a in a circular motion. Whoa, you know, his whoa, whole whoa, arm is whoa, in a circular whoa, motion. Time out, time out, brother. Hold up. You telling me, first of all, I want to know, did somebody give him this thing blanket in the first place for him to think it that it is? You got him right here wearing ballet shoes and snapping his fingers around in a circular motion around these other chairs. He'll do that damn no, sir, it's not what we're doing at the daycare, and I'm glad you brought that up. It's what's going on at home. Now, I want to ask you, do you, do we you? We do football, that's all this we play. We do manly stuff around there. So all this you bring up right here, this is new to me, man. Okay, sir. Sir, my uh, let, 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 let me say this. We're not doing anything. That's the reason why I wanted to call you, Dang. because I didn't want the daycare to be blamed for anything. Let me ask you this. This, 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 this type of behavior starts at home. Now, I want to ask you this. Do, do you, and I don't mean any harm, but, but do you wear ballet shoes? What? You rush up and now now I don't wear no ballet shoes. I wear steel toe boots to work. Stop it. You, you, you got one more time to say some about them ballet shoes. I'm going to put this steel toe up your so what put this around here? Do you wear ballet shoes? Uh, do, have, do you snap your fingers in a, in a circular motion? 
you think I'm playing with you? I'm gonna snap your neck. You keep talking about some snapping and some ballet shoes and some blankets. And I, you know what? I tell you what. I'm gonna be down there at 6 30. And I'm gonna need to talk to you. Is you gonna be there at 6 30? Uh, uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll be here at the, at the actual daycare at 6 30. The 6 30 is around the time that I take the ballet shoes off of him. Hey, I, I tell you what. I'm gonna show you the ballet shoes. 6 30. Hey, your rag down there. I'm gonna be there. Some ballet shoes. Sir, I, I, I will be here at 6 30, sir. Cause we're gonna test this like these ballet shoes. I don't know where this is coming from. Where the f name is? Red Sir, I'm, 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 assu I'm assuming that you are, uh, I mean, are you familiar with the Nutcracker? Do you, are you into ballet? Look, keep it up. 6.30, hey, I, you better pray to God you're not down there at 6.30. And you better not have on no ballet shoes. Let them have on some ballet shoes and not come down there. I'm saying, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make you touch everything. You know what, sir, down there. sir, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave the ballet shoes on him so that you can see them on him. Did I tell you, you don't wear no ballet shoes? I, sir, why, why, you're getting irate. You no, know, sir, you talking about some ballet shoes. My son don't wear no ballet shoes. Okay, sir, 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 I'm not, I'm not happy to snap. I'm not gonna snap. No, there's, 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 there's something else I do need to tell you about your son. What, okay? what else could it be? You're not only talking about this stupid What you got to tell? Sir, I just wanted to tell you that this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, man. Your boy Herschel got me to prank phone call you. Y'all, y'all with me this morning. See, he won't tell me about, think God had me pulling this truck. <laughs> Herschel. Hey, hey, does, 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 does Herschel drive trucks with you? Yeah, that's right. Drive from me, but he got to come. We get back up into the yard. He got to come. <laughs> oh God! All the time that nobody can't get me. I listen to y'all all the time. I be saying, "Can't you never get me late?" Hey, look at let me ask you something, man. What is the baddest? And I mean the baddest radio oh, show in the lane. Man, it's Steve Harvey Morning Show with Nephew Johnny. <laughs> oh wow. Really? Well, I mean, everybody inside, ain't people might well, You think it's time relate? to do this? <laughs> might as well relate to what everybody going through. Sick. You try to be shitty. topical. <laughs> yeah. 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 Let's go, cat. Hello? I'm trying to be speaking. Uh, you got him. Who is this? Hey, my God. This is how you doing yeah, today? I'm, I'm doing, I ain't doing too good. You done been over here praying for my wife again, right? Yeah, right, right. Yes, sir. You done came over here three times in one week. My, my wife had yeah. already went through the operation and all that. She's going to be fine. I don't need you over here praying three times a week because, uh, honestly, I think there's something else on your mind when you come over here praying for my wife. I ain't stupid. <laughs> brother, you kind of make... Hold it, brother. This brother... This is... Well, your wife was on the sick and shut-in list. I, I Reverend I, asked I, me I, to I, come I, by. Reverend hey, requested that I come by. Okay, he ain't requested for you to bring your black to my house for no three times in one week, man. So you can cut that out with me. You can Wait cut that out. Hold it, brother. I came with Sister Georgia the first time. The second time, I came by myself because she wasn't able to come by. Mm. And I only stayed 15 minutes each time. So what's the problem? Because I, I already know what you're what you doing. I know you're trying to holler at my wife. I ain't stupid. Hop at your wife. I have a wife. Why would I help at your wife? She's part I of the already, research I already know what you. I already know what you're doing, man. You up in there trying to holler my wife. Why ain't, no, why, ain't no, why ain't nobody at the house? I already know what you're doing. Let me tell you something. Keep your black away from my house. If you want to pray for my wife, you can pray wait for my wait wife. Wait a minute, 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 hold it. You can't talk to you me like that. You're going to make me lay hands on you. That's what you're going to make me do. Oh, no, brother. Ain't going to be none of that. Ain't going to be none of that. You're talking to the wrong brother now. Okay? Now, first of all, you're not going to disrespect me and curse me out. Okay? That's not even the way brothers should be talking to brothers. Second of all, if there's any laying on the hands, it's going to be my hands laying on you. Okay? You ain't finna lay... I know what you're trying to lay on my wife. If I find out you around you mess around with my wife, it's going to be some... I, I, I know you're what crazy. you're trying to you're do. Crazy. I'm, you're I'm crazy. just letting you're you. I'm going to say it one more time. Keep your black off around my house. You know, first of all, I told you once again, you can't be talking to me like that. Now, I'm trying to be cool about the situation because I know you may be just upset. Okay, I can appreciate that. Okay, I have a wife. 
And I'd be upset if somebody was coming by visiting my well, wife. Won't you, won't you spend more time often. at your house with your wife? I do spend my time with my wife. Time? I do. You know, I'll spend maybe, much maybe, time. Maybe, I only came by two or three times. Your house. Maybe I need to come by your house and holler at your wife. Well, you're welcome to. But maybe I, mean, maybe, maybe I need to come, come, come lay something over there on her. Oh, now you get, now, to, no, what wait you're trying to do with mine. Hold it. Hold it one minute. Hold it one minute. I told you before, you're being disrespectful. Now, that was a very idiotic statement for you to make, okay? That's what's going to happen if I catch your black <laughs> at my house again. I'm going to play this man, and then I'm getting off the phone with you. You, your pastor, any more of them deacons, if anybody come by my house again and I ain't there, I'm kicking your black <laughs> That's a promise. You know what? Uh, just That's it. Look here, brother. If there's going to be any <laughs> whooping going on, I'm going to be kicking your <laughs> I'm going to lay my hands on you, and I'm going to give you a good sanctified <laughs> whooping, and then I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray to heal you by this foot. I'm going to put up, okay? Because I've, I've had it with you, you know, and I only went by to, to visit your wife because I was asked to go visit your wife. Now, that was a problem. You should have called the pastor, okay? But you're not going to disrespect me, my wife, the church on the phone. Now, if you want to do something about it, you can meet me any place. Well, I'm, 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 you know, as a matter of fact, I can go anywhere I want in this town. If I be at your house talking to your wife, if the pastor asks me to go, I'm gonna be there. Okay, I, you, you know, you just, you know, it's you're just a stupid brother. Okay, you, know, you, you need know, to come to church. You need to come to church. You need to come to church. You need to come to church more often. And that's the problem. You don't come to church more often. If you come to church more often. You wouldn't be talking to me like that. You wouldn't be worried about me and your wife because there must be something wrong at your house. You'd be worried about me fooling with your wife. Damn. Okay? So you need to check her. Okay, you need to check her. How about that? Why don't you do that? Why don't you, why don't you just check her? Okay? Tommy said you're the one that's cheating with, with my wife. That's, that's, Tommy. that's all I know. <laughs> who? Tommy, who? Tommy, said you, Tommy said you're the one that's cheating around with my wife. Tommy, who the who, who is Tommy? <laughs> Tommy, who? Uh, uh, this is nephew Tommy, man. Ah, uh, but this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, man. Hey, the, the, your church member uh, got me to prank Paul. Y'all you know, wrong for that? You know y'all wrong. Y'all wrong. You know y'all on the highway to hell. All of y'all. You know nonstop. No, you know, y'all just, you know, y'all just gone, you know. Ain't no stop sign. You know, I'm finna go. I'm finna pray all of y'all, all of you brothers, nephew Tommy, Steve Harvey, brother wrong for that. Okay. I'm gonna check him. I'm finna oh, check him. Man. I'm finna go. I'm finna, I don't talk to y'all no more. All right, y'all. So, um, I'm about to end this right here, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy this lovely, lovely, lovely reaction. So, yes. So, uh, I'm going to um, upload uh, another video. It's going to be the TikTok uh, funny memes. That's going to be a little longer. It might be like 50, probably 50 some minutes. So, it might be a long one for y'all. So, I hope y'all enjoy that. But other than that, y'all, thank y'all so much for the love and support. I really appreciate those that comment under the um, previous uh, reaction videos and everything. So I be reading y'all comments and stuff. So I am truly grateful that I have a lovely community and I love you guys. And I will be definitely do my best to um, give y'all some great content and everything like that. So, other than that, y'all, I'm going to end this right here. Thank you, guys. This is your girl, Cutie Cam Vlog. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. So, that way you don't miss on any, any, any videos of me reacting. So, y'all stay blessed, and I'll see y'all next time, okay? Bye, and see you later.